a rubber powered car. Which will have propeller driven. Just for a change. Still having an awful lot of trouble printing with this PETG. And that looks terrible. I think I've got a blocked nozzle. Oh yeah, I can feel there's all bits stuck up under there. Hi guys, time to put it together. Um, I've done a little bit already, I just wanted to check the pieces actually fitted together. So I straightened out the paper clip, so that will be our shaft. At this end, it's bent at a right angle, so it catches on the um, helix effect there, or key, or whatever you want to call it. So in theory, it should run free at the other end, but I think the rubber band's a bit too tight for it to do that. I um, haven't got the paper clip particularly straight, so this wobbles around a bit. And obviously at that end, I've just formed it into a hook. We've got a plastic bead there. It'd be better if it was a, a glass bead, but that will do. So we can wind it up. And we'll get an amount of wind blown through there, a bit of thrust. For the wheels, I've got some CDs. I've got some of my 3D printed hubs. But the CDs should fit on. Like that. And I've got bicycle spokes. For the axles, which should go through these holes here. I have to open them out a little bit. That feels a little bit tight. Although first time through, they're usually a little bit tight anyway. Because there's a little bit of muck left in there from the printing. Yeah, I think they'll be okay. I wonder if I can get two axles out of one spoke. That'd be nice if I could do that. Might have to glue the CDs onto those hubs just to make sure they don't come loose. Oh no, I think that'll be okay. Okay, I'll do that. So four CDs, four hubs, hopefully one bicycle spoke cut in half. And then we should have a propeller driven car. So there we are four wheels, two axles. Nice and free running. Just don't know how much power we'll get from this little propeller. I've designed it to push it. Rather than pull it. Oh, that worked. I'll put the lights on in the kitchen. And we'll give it a run. Whoa. The equivalent of wheel spin. A little bit light at the back, so it's spun around. I might have to put tyres on it to stop it spinning. I think it would do better if I had a less powerful motor. Right, we're going to try it with a much less powerful rubber band.
yeah I think that was better so I'll wind it up a bit more because it's a less powerful motor the back end isn't bouncing up and down like it was before so we're going in a straight line but we need a bit more or well, a few more turns freewheeling now <laughs> still we did the distance Summary time, well, not one of my best designs. I put a few too many design constraints on it. I wanted to keep it within the bed of the printer, so the length of it was restricted. That means we don't get very many rubber bands on there to give us the distance. The propeller... I kept it to just four blades. We probably could have gone to six or eight. Or I could have made it bigger, but I wanted to keep the propeller smaller than the diam uh, the width of the car so it fit within the wheels. Using a paper clip for the shaft is okay, but it's a bit soft and flexible. So as I'm winding it up, I'm actually bending the shaft and I have to straighten it again before I let it go. So there's a few things there that could be improved. Oh, I also put a paper clip on that end in the end to make it easier to connect the rubber band. One thing you don't want is the rubber band to drop onto the front axle because that'll act like a brake then. So that's well above it when it's actually in tension. So that's okay. Everything else works, the hubs work fine, they've been useful for years now I've been using them I just modified them every time I want to have a different diameter shaft but I don't think I'll bother making this one public because it's just not good enough looks okay it works but it really wants to be twice the length to give us plenty of rubber bands to um, do the distance you could just cut it there and put an extension piece in so say the idea was to try and make it something you could print in one go on a single bed on the printer. And that's about as wide as you can go. You can go about another 10, maybe 20 millimetres at a push, but then you're right at the very edge of the bed and it probably wouldn't print very well. So there you go. A rubber-powered, propeller-driven car.